Hi, who are you and where are you from? My name is Sarah Jane Mason and I'm originally from the north of England. Currently, I split my time between the UK and Lanzarote. Okay, tell us a bit about your practice. What do you do? My practice is mixed media in nature. I trained in fine art, drawing, painting and sculpture. I often work on upcycled bases and I use lots of different materials. Um, my work's quite painterly, but I use paper as well as lots of different wet materials like inks and dyes and paints. And um, how do you do it? So quite often when I'm out and about, just generally in my life, I'll be keeping an eye out for potential bases. Um, and I have a stash of resources and materials um, that I have in my storeroom that I can kind of call on as I'm working. I tend to work on lots of different pieces at once. Um, I work quite quickly. And even though I mainly use acrylics and kind of water-based paints so that they dry um, quicker than oil based paint. It still sometimes isn't fast enough so I need to have lots of pieces on the go at the same time. When did you start? Um, I, this is a difficult question because I feel like I've always kind of been an artist. My granny taught me to paint um, when I was really young and she bought a little oil painting set for me and I used to paint fish under the sea and this sort of thing. Um, so I think that I've always been doing it in some sense. Um, I obviously studied it at art college and at university. Then I've worked in arts education. I went back to university. So I've always been involved in, in the arts in some way. And I think my practice, although it's been kind of a little bit stop starty in terms of when I was teaching, I was definitely making less larger works. I've always kept a sketchbook, I've always been drawing, I've always been collecting ideas, collecting images, collecting resources, cataloguing them for the for future use. Um, so yeah, always, I think is the answer. Who or what inspires your practice? Oh, good question. Um, so I guess one of my biggest influences it was my mentor for my master's programme, Stas Paraskos, who sadly passed away a few years ago now. He set up the Cyprus College of Art, which was um, a functioning college that's certified degrees and postgrad. Um, and now is more of, I suppose, a bit like an artist residency or a commune where you can go. Um, but it's a really special place that he has has built there it's really um unique i would say and that place and the community around that place inspire me a lot um and stas as an artist his approach to color and his narrative telling um also really have a huge impact on me um still even though he's not around um, so that's just one person, but then there's so many, you know, groups of people, the abstract expressionists I had a huge obsession with when I was at university. Um, I quite like the St. Ives groups. Um, I quite like a lot of contemporary practice. I get quite inspired actually by running educational um, workshops and facilitating things in galleries and museums. And a lot of that inspiration, it's not just coming from the um, kind of professional artworks and cultural pieces that are on display, it's coming from that interaction, that human connection with the people that are taking part in the participation. Um, so that is a huge thing for me as well. Um, and a lot of my work is quite um, political or socially engaged. And so a lot of inspiration comes from the news and from stories that I hear around me. Like if I'm in a cafe, I'll be listening to what people are talking about around me, watching Facebook groups for kind of hot topics. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a, a broad range of influences and inspirations. Thanks. What are you exhibiting at Distance 2021? So at Distance 2021, I'm exhi exhibiting a diptych, um, which is all about how people arrive to the island of Lanzarote and their, um, like how they are received, I suppose. And in the diptychs, there's um, two 
boats. One is a, a kind of sail yacht, I suppose, a kind of wealthy person's arrival. And the other is a wooden patera. Um, a patera is, is a local word for um, a small wooden boat, often coming from the coast of Africa and bringing um, immigrants, potentially refugees, um, to the island in search of a better life and the context of these arrivals is kind of framed via um, messages from Facebook forums talking about um, whether it's all right for them to be there or not and what people think about their mode of transport, about them as people. Um, so there's like a direct comparison, I guess, between these two, these two pieces and um, what it means for the people that are in these, these, these boats, what it means for them, the distance that they've traveled, like why have they traveled that distance? What, what's the impact of it on their, on their lives? Okay, well, that answers my next question. So we'll jump to the next question after that. Where can people find out more about you? If people would like to find out a little bit more about my personal practice, they can go to my website, um, sarahjanemason.com. Um, you can find me on Instagram as well. And there's quite a bit of information about me on the Lacuna Festivals and Lacuna Studios pages as well. Um, so lots of places to find out some more. Great, thank you very much. Um, can you tell us how participating artists can be a part of this video interview process? Yeah, sure. It's really simple. So um, all of our participating artists, if you want to submit a video interview, all you do is answer the questions that we have outlined in the email, the same ones that I've answered here. Um, and record them like this. If you don't have somebody to ask your questions, thank you, Simon, for being my interviewer. Um, but if you don't have someone to ask the questions and you can just read the question out and then read the answer, that's not a problem. Um, but it's just a great way to connect with other artists. Maybe you'll find people who have aligned practices with you and people of particular interest that you can um, specifically network with and maybe get some future projects going. So that's the idea of it. Um, so just record your video, send it to us on the normal email address and we'll be popping them all onto our social media channel so that you can access them and learn a bit more about all the artists. All 325 of them. That's great. Thank you very much.